Hey, what's up, everybody? Um, today I'm going to show you how to set up your Akai or any drum pad or any MIDI controller or any, anything to be used as a loop trigger or a sampler trigger. Um, what you want to do is pull up Virtual DJ and top right corner, go to configure, and um, if it is plugged in, or if it's not plugged in, plug it in your, uh, your uh, drum pad or your MIDI controller, and um, if Virtual DJ doesn't like already have it recognized, um, it should be in this little box right here, this one right here. But if it's not, um, just go to Rescan Devices. It should be right next to it, to the right of it. Just uh, Rescan. Click on it and get the top, top of the box, Rescan Device. And um, I should say Keyboard, or, but um, you click on this and you go down to, it'll, mine says Simple Mini Wrapper. And you just click on it. And, uh, and it's ready to map. So what you want to do after you do that, you click um, it's down here on the bottom. It will say uh, add new key. You click on the plus the plus sign to add new key. And uh, after you do that, you're gonna want to go up to key learn. Click on key learn. And uh, after you click on uh, Key Learn, you're going to want to go back to your Akai. And uh, you can pretty much um, assign anything, any any key, any any pad, any knob. You can just select one. You know, for instance, I'll just uh, do Pad 4. And, uh, yeah. So I click, yeah, I click, and um, it'll automatically assign. Like it, it says, uh, what does it say? It's really, I'm sorry for the poor quality. I'm recording on my cell phone. Um, but mine says zero dash four seven. That's a Kai's um, just uh, pad number. And uh, so it's auto assigned. After you auto assign it or assign it, um, go to right underneath it and go to click action or um, action learn and you can either go to the back to the screen and pick something or um, what I do makes it a lot easier just um, type in what function you want that key to do like um, if you want it to play a sample just type in, I already have it set up, but just uh, type in, like, sample, and it'll automatically, you know, pop up on the bottom right-hand side of this, of this box. I don't know if you can read it, but it'll say sampler play, sampler play dash stutter, and um, you don't want to click on these, you actually need to type it in, I've set here for just like numerous minutes like what the fuck why isn't it working so type it in exactly how it is on the screen and just uh, press ok and after that then you're pretty much set you know there's a lot of things to do though like um like have sampler play dash stop sampler select sampler play stutter sampler record sampler record stop I have my knobs set up to, you know, do the filter because my, um, my, uh, my DJ controller isn't, you know, cope with the, um, the filter. Like, I can do the effects and shit, but I can't actually do the filter. So, um, yeah, you just do whatever, um, function you want it to do. And, um, you can, I don't know. <clears throat> do sample and 
um, I have it set up right now for a record sample and stop sample. So, um, let me pick something for you. Mm. Just give me a second, I'm going to pull up something to record. And, uh, That's pretty much how you do it. Not that hard. If you have any questions or anything, just uh, ask me.